What's up guys? My name's Cooper and today I'm going to be taking a trip around San Andreas on my uh, my bike. I don't know what it's called. Um, let's see. I did trick it out a bit. Uh, 801, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, before I go, um, I started at um, at Franklin's garage. But before I go, there's ballers right there. Check out, there's ballers. Uh, yeah, they just actually just said that. That's funny. But this area right here looks really strikingly similar to San Andreas uh, Grove Street. I actually think this is Grove Street. So uh, that would make sense. But, uh, but really, the, the main point of this video was to take a trip around around the state this time on a bike. I thought about doing this in a car, it'd be much safer because you can die super easy on a bike. People can just turn right, like this guy right here. That dude would have killed the shit out of me if I would have turned or, or kept going. Got away with a white girl. I'm gonna get on the interstate. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get on the interstate. And then I'll, uh, I'll talk. Hold on, it takes a whole lot to concentrate. <laughs> Gotta get going. I don't think I'm, I think I'm gonna split this into two videos. Because the world is really large and I don't want to rush it. I don't want to die, that's the main thing. I tried this like three other times and I keep getting hit by cars. So, I'm gonna take it kind of slow because there's no reason to speed through this. It's a... It's a big world, I'm sure you want to see it. If you're watching this video, you probably want to see it. I did mark a place on the map so I can get kind of started. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to go... Alright, this video is going to end right here. Except I'm going to take a right at this place right here. Cool. Alright. Now, uh, on to this, the, some of the stuff that I like about Grand Theft Auto 5. There is a whole lot, actually, because I do really enjoy this game. I think it's going to be game of the year, as I've said before. Some of the biggest things, definitely character switching. The, the swapping from, from Michael, Trevor, and Franklin is really smooth. I love it a whole lot, I especially like how you wake up as them sometimes. They're all doing their own thing. Trevor's the best. He's got the best, uh, like, swap scenes. Several situations where I've woken up with, uh, like, drunk on an island, actually, <laughs> next to a bunch of dead bodies, or on top of a mountain drunk next to, uh, on top, yeah, with a dress on. That was my favorite. And that's happened several times, so I, it makes me believe that these are cued, or uh, something like that. Like you can, uh, everybody will have these. Was I supposed to take a right? God damn it! I was totally supposed to take a right right there. Okay, whatever. I got to talking. Anyways, definitely character switching. That's awesome. The special abilities. That's also pretty amazing. Michael's uh, is really good. You know, you can you can aim quick, which is really helpful in firefights. Franklin's, I believe, is my favorite, which is stuff like uh, let's see, let me get into a good situation. Hopefully, I won't die. I can weave in and out of traffic really well. That's really helpful when you're running from the cops. Trevor's is really all, uh, really good for running the cops also because you can just stop and fight them. It's a rampage function where you take less damage and deal more damage. Super good for high high weapons, like, like uh, whenever the enemies have really strong weapons. I'm not sure if your characters on GTA Online will have special abilities. I don't really know what they could be. You can't slow down real time. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see about that. There's so many vehicles in this game. 
and that's another thing that I really love about it. Just the the selection. I mean, this car or uh, this this bike is awesome, and like that how how far I could customize it. It's insane. If you purchase one of the the Los Santos Customs in uh, it's near it's like uh, near Sandy Shores, which is a trailer park area uh, with Franklin, you can get free upgrades and free repairs and stuff, which is which is really neat. I like that a lot. I wish it worked on all of them, but it doesn't, so I have to travel all the way across the place to repair my Bugatti whenever I, uh, I dent it. I, I was going to do it in that because I did buy a Bugatti, which is like a, a million dollars I think I spent on that. So that's kind of cool. I wonder if I can hit that and like those logs come apart. Uh, I don't want a wanted level. The scenery is really amazing. You kind of saw that in the last video. But definitely some dislikes. The Every time someone beats your mission score, it pops up down at the bottom, which isn't a huge inconvenience. It does kind of piss me off a little bit. But I don't feel oh, there's a random event. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that's, that's another cool thing. All the random events that happen. That is awesome. I mean, I've had a situation where a, a like a naked man was beating up a, a woman, and I had to kill the naked man and then take the woman back to her house or something like that. It was so random. Well, we're at our stop. I'm just going to finish my conversation. I guess we will uh, continue this next time. But like, the naked man, that was awesome. One time I picked up a... or I stopped some mafia guys from beating up this uh this uh no this guy I don't know what the situation was it was a okay it was a mafia guy's uh daughter was being beat up by a bunch of people and they're getting buried or some shit so I stopped her and I got sixty thousand dollars for it that's another cool thing you get uh it's a big incentive because you get you get money from doing that like I saved a dude uh I got his bike back and he put like a hundred thousand dollars in stocks into uh, my account which is super neat but anyways guys thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more GTA content I'm out of here